So there's my old steering wheel, which I sold to Kenan, and he's finally paid me for it, so now he gets it. It's about 7.25 p.m. I went had my x-rays done this afternoon, that was really easy and fast. And uh, we're gonna head over to Rosbond's tonight for a little bit, watch a movie or something like that. I don't know, I haven't been over there for a while. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys over there. Um. Well, she used to be like. You know, is this fly down? Oh, no, it's button. He's got the button. Right. Hey, now. Hey. Boom, boom. Mm hmm. Raz came into some money. That is a misfire. <laughs> All right, Kenan's going to go for it. That's terrible, man. Razban, you should pay me ten dollars not to upload that. I paid hey, you ten dollars to shut up. All right. <laughs> Kenan, I made mean, that thing would come back. Just Kenan's like doing it wrong. Club. Welcome to the club. He's doing it wrong. All right. Hey, finish hey, it up. If this is here, we go. Oh, Ooh, there you go. That, that was wind. Skill. All right. All right. Um, We're gonna do uh, game two. You guys want to play for pink slips? What are we doing? Play for pink slips. Pink slips. Who wants the uh, Impala? You'll be able to pull over anybody you see. You'll pull over anybody you see. I guarantee I'll you. I'll take the Maserati you just got. The Ghibli. There's a Panamera. Ghibli the S is the one that gets. Panamera too. I like all the colors on camera. It's pretty. Welcome home. 1242. Played a little bit of pool and then we watched Rush, I think, at Rosmond's house. So we're back now. Um, Today was somewhat productive, I guess. I got the x-rays done this morning, afternoon, technically. Then I worked down here for a little bit. Um, worked actually on the stereo. This is the hangout place for weekends, as you know. Actually, I'll leave those lights on. This is our setup here. We have a remote that controls everything. It's got the tunes, it's got the lights, it's got the disco ball, it's got the, it's got the fountain. It's got everything going on. So I found some extra Christmas lights and I was cleaning out a desk in my, or a drawer or dresser in my room. So I finished going around the table here. I like the place up pretty cool. We got the Breaking Bad poster, Marley, you guys have seen it. But uh, yeah, so the stereo here, this thing my dad bought back in the 70s, I think. It's a Pioneer Quadraphonic. It's a QX949A and it's great. I love it, except it has a couple issues. One, the power button doesn't work. So it's stuck in the on position, no problem. So I just wired it into our remote that controls everything else, lava lamps and lights and all that stuff. So that's fixed. Uh, the other thing um, was actually due to my complete blatant stupidity. Uh, I have it in quadraphonic mode, which means I can individually, there's four speakers in here. So front A is right there. Front B is down there. Rear A is back there and rear B is back there. So when I have it in this mode, I either input via just FM radio, we have an antenna up there, or uh, a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary in cable to an iPod or my laptop or something. So I had noticed that during a lot of songs, and obviously all of them, but I only noticed it during song, it would sound weird. There'd be entire uh, instrument sections missing vocals could barely hear it was just odd it sounded like it was only working on either right or left channel so I finally pulled it out from the wall today and looked at the back of it and you won't see but there's eight possible speakers you can hook up to this front a left right front B left right rear a left right and rear B left right I had I only have four obviously so I had all of them on right channel front A, B, rear A, B on right channel. So I just pulled them out and switched them, switched the A's, the left side of the room to left, and B's, the right side of the room to right channel. And now it sounds great, duh. Been dealing with that for six months, never thought to fix it. Also, I rounded up all of the stray marbles in the house. I don't know why we have so many. I put them in a box and the box was dicked. So I got some wood glue and I glued it. So uh, now that is fixed. I can take the clamp off consider that project done. Yeah, so it looks like my glue bubble up there, so I'm gonna go get an X-Acto knife and cut that off so it shuts right without screwing up my hinges. But uh, this is still the other room. Still have all the trains in here, the two G gauges and the O gauge and the little village my grandfather built. We moved the foosball table in here and we actually 
ditch the air hockey table for now. If you guys remember on James R. Schultz, I used to do all my videos on top of an air hockey table. Well, that got to be in the way and we never used it. So I just took it apart and it's still sitting down there. I'll probably either sell it or get rid of it one of these days. But here's my little X-Acto knife and I'm gonna go fix the box. I remember I made this box in Florida at a hotel like 15 years ago and the shells that we found on the beach are starting to fall off, but it now shuts and has held together well and the hinges work, so yay, productivity. So here's what's great about my wiring. You decide you're done, you wanna head up for the night, we come over here, we kill the main lights, which are on a dimmer. Zone one, two, and three. Kills everything. And you're ready to go upstairs. Love it. All right, well, I'm gonna head up, grab a shower, and get to bed. Going over to the grandparents' house tomorrow. I said there's a lot of, uh, I said there's a lot of little jobs, little stuff that will probably take five minutes to do. Um, supposed to be in the 40s again tomorrow before we plunge back sub 20 this week, but 25 days till spring break. That's what I'm working for. Talk to you guys tomorrow.